I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And we love doing DIY projects and we love doing campers. And our daughter and her husband have recently got a camper because they're going to be staying in their camper while they save some money to build on our Be Free Acres family compound. So the camper is beautiful, but needs some fixing because it has a soft spot. Mm -hmm. So. So we're gonna go dig That's in and see if we can figure do. out what's causing the soft spot. The area with the soft spot was directly next to the bed and just underneath the window. You could feel the soft spot directly underneath the linoleum. So what we need to do is to move this out of the way so we can see what's underneath. Using a razor knife, I cut the linoleum around the edges so that I could peel it back without damaging the linoleum. While peeling back the linoleum, you need to be careful and make sure you have all your cuts in place so that it doesn't tear. Uh, in this particular case, I was able to uh, get it out of there without tearing it. I rolled back the linoleum, exposing the area, and then was able to feel whether it was wet and start getting my hands into it. Because it was dry, it was apparent that the leak had been repaired because we had recently had rain and there was no wetness there. So I continued to remove and feel around just to make sure that that whole area was dry. All right, so we're getting ready to put in some stuff in the camper and fix the floor, but the battery was dead on the RV. And we went to hook up the generator and we didn't have the little pigtail. So make sure if you're gonna bring your generator, you gotta bring the pigtail so it'll plug into your 30 amp cable. All right, so I'm going to use a plunge cut to come into my line here. And what I did is I did a line 14 inches away from the wall. I'll plunge cut into this and cut as far as I can. Once we get power back, then I'm going to use my oscillating saw just to get the rest of the way to make sure that it's, uh, that it's cut and then we'll remove most of that material. All right, so we went ahead and put a line down through here. I'm gonna take the skill saw down through this one now, up in the uh, front container. Basically, it connects right into where the soft spot is inside there. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this line as well. All right, so now I'm gonna use my oscillating saw just to get a couple of little pieces out on the corners down here up underneath. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled out the insulation here just so we could shake it out. And you can see there's the wood that goes through there, but then all there is is the plastic that keeps it from underneath. So probably not the greatest way to set it up because if you look at the front, you can see that that plastic is right up underneath this edge. It almost seems like down the road, we would wanna pull those screws out and put a piece of metal deflector coming down to keep it from allowing moisture up maybe while you're driving. All right, so now we're gonna hit that area with a shop vac and get it cleaned up pretty well before we uh, start putting everything back together in this area. You can see behind me, I've got a two by four. They're not really two by fours on the floor here. They're actually two and a half inches. So I've got to rip one down real quick to uh, be able to put in the bracing. So I've just basically drawn a line two and a half inches down the side. I'm going to rip it real quick with my scale saw. And then I'm going to start measuring out the bracing for the inside. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using an inch and five eighths screw. These are basically designed to hold the decking down. I forgot to bring some bigger screws to put in the uh, support. So what I did, I pre-drilled them with a small bit and then drilled them in a little further with a uh, countersunk the head. So basically when it goes in, it'll go in like this. So we'll get a good bite and it will hold it. So basically this is the first piece that I've cut. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go secure this in place. And one of the things I'm gonna do actually before I do that though, is I'm going to cut off a strip of my three quarter inch plywood because what I wanna do is when I put this two by four in, I wanna make sure that it sits flush with the other piece that's already there. So I'm not gonna go by eye, but I'm gonna actually put it up against there so I know that it's gonna be a nice flush edge. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw this into this piece here to get us a nice uh, solid stuff sticking out here. I'm gonna have to actually trim that up a little bit. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this in here, but then I'm gonna use my piece to make sure with all the other sides too. Basically what I'm gonna do is make sure that this is gonna be flush. 
where if, before I ever screw it in. So that way I'm good to go that I know, you know, it could be up, it could be down a little bit, but as long as this is flush with this, I'm good to go. Okay, so we got a couple of the braces in so far. We're gonna put another brace in on this side and then one across where the wall is back there because I won't be going through under the wall. And we'll put the piece of plywood in on top and then we'll screw that down. And then we'll bring the linoleum back over and then we're gonna do the same thing on the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and put this piece of insulation back in that we took out. And then we're gonna put the piece of plywood in on top of that. So now that we've braced this, I will need to cut it in a couple places to use the excess in the places where the two by fours aren't. All right, so what we did is we just put the bracing in that you saw, then we cut the piece of plywood to fit just over the bracing. I notched each of these inside corners just a touch to make sure that they would fit with the trim pieces that were in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw it down and we should be good to go. Then we're gonna bring back the linoleum and we're gonna staple that in place. Now we're gonna pull back the linoleum, get the trim pieces back in place. Well, actually pull back the linoleum, staple in the linoleum, then put the trim pieces back in place. All right, so one of the things we need to do before we close this up, you can see, you can see a little bit of light here. And uh, there's some thin spots in a couple places. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some alcohol wipes to wipe that good and get that fabric stuff basically um, sticky. And then what I'm gonna do is use some Gorilla Tape before I help seal it up before I put anything else on it. So what that's going to do is just make sure that any bits of moisture don't have a chance to come through, especially where I know where there's a possibility that they might. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for a second and I'm going to put some tape on it. better about putting the insulation in on top of that and then finishing up the job. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this bracing in now and I'm using the little strip of plywood that I had before to make sure that, um, that I'm gonna be at the right level with everything so it's smooth. Screwing this in, I'm gonna put the insulation in, then I'm gonna put in the plywood on top of that. So I'm gonna finish getting this secured in. So I've got the insulation back in. Now I'm gonna put the piece of plywood in. I had to cut this funny little notch up here because there was a weird piece of metal sticking out from the uh, side up here that I had to be ready for. So now I just have to pop this in. Even though I use the piece of plywood, I still am a little bit higher than I would like to be. So I've got a belt sander that I'm gonna use. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that down the edge and just smooth that so it's a little bit more of a contour. So, it's, so you don't see it under the linoleum. Okay, so we've got everything in place. We're putting the linoleum back on. I'm just gonna use my stapler and try and get it up as close to the edge as possible as I staple it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it up in here. See how close I can, I'm gonna try it actually here first just to see how close I can get it. That's pretty. So we were able to get those pieces of flooring replaced with some good plywood, get it good and solid, get things back to the way they were. So that, that's, uh, that's very good. If you want to see more videos like this, you can go to our YouTube channel and check out any one of our playlists. We do a lot of different things like this. You can also check out our website at www.befreebenson.com. Remember, doing things yourself saves you money, also allows you to be free. See you in the next video.